So then I want to go to sketch and go to text and I'm going to snap that right there and I want to select a uh, I'm going to use New Times Roman. That's my favorite for this kind of thing. Uh, but in here it's called Times. So you got to Times New Roman. Okay. And I'm going to move it to bold and I'm going to give it italic. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to type it in and I'm making a stamp for a friend. So and she wants it all one word. Um, so there. So that's the lettering that I'm looking at. Let me double check that. Okay, so I've got it. Other than she wanted this G normal. So we'll change that. So that's how the stamp is going to look right there. Okay. And so I'm going to hit OK. Now. If I extruded this out this way towards us and then we printed it, your print would be in reverse. So what I want to do is I want to flip around okay, from the bottom view and I want to go to Create Extrude and I'm going to pull it towards the bottom plane. And I'm just going to go point, let's see, point, let's see. So I'm going to go negative point one two five. Boom. And there's my stamp. Okay. So if we look at this from the top, that's going to stamp exactly the way we see it. Boom. Just like that. Okay. Because we've extruded out. So now what I want to do is I need to make a platform for this to 3D print on. So what I'll do is I'll go to Sketch, Rectangle, Center Rectangle, and I'm going to click on this G. And then I'm going to try to find a center point right about there. And I'm going to drag it out to slightly bigger. So I'm going, to, I'm going to go to Modify, press Pull, click on that, and click on this G. And I'm just going to make it uh, 0.125. That gives it a nice um, platform. So we look at this. Um, when we're looking at it like this. It looks like it's backwards. That's what you want. That means it'll stamp correctly. So now I just need a little handle. So I'm going to go to circle and center point, center diameter circle. I'm going to click on the plane I was just at. I'm going to find the center point and click there. Modify, press pull. I'm going to drag it out an entire inch so we have plenty of room. And then I'm going to just round the edges just for We'll just go 0.3. It's not going to let me do that. So let's go 0.2. See what it says. There we go. All right. So there's our stamp, which looks eh, that works. And the only reason I put a fillet in here is so this little handle's a little bit stronger. So now what I want to do is I want to assign it a physical material. So I go to create. I'm sorry. I go to modify physical material. I'm going to scroll down in the library to plastic and I just use a blue laminate because that represents 3D printed material. I'll close this box back and I'll go to render and there is what our stamp is going to look like and maybe I can lighten that up a little bit. Uh, there's our stamp and uh, you can see that this is in the right position to stamp and come out correctly. So there we go. Okay, so we have our stamp. Now what we need to do is we need to actually turn this into a STL. So what I've done is I've saved my file. I gave it a name, which is stamp. And I want to right click over here in the browser, okay? And I want to save as an STL. 
Now it's going to give me an option here. I can save it as a binary or an ASCII. I want a binary. And I want refinement on high. And then I'm going to hit OK. Now, I can save this in whatever folder I want. This is one I've been working on. So I'm going to save it in here. And now I can actually drag that file and take it to my 3D printer, which I will do, and uh, I'll show you that. So anyway, this is really easy, really quick. Fusion 360 is powerful for making simple things, especially with a 3D printer. Um, so if you like what you saw, please subscribe. If you have a better way or a comment, uh, don't hesitate to post. I learn a lot from my uh, viewers and I'm happy to discuss uh, better methods and things that I've missed. So please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.